Hello Internet people! In this video I'll show you two ways how to add an anchor link to your WordPress post, but this will work also on pages and menus. And also I'll show you how to reach the anchor from another page. After this video you can get yourself one of these tattoos, so that the ladies can link to you from anywhere. anywhere. Sweat punch. All right, as mentioned, the simplest way to add an anchor link to your WordPress doesn't require any plugins. Here is what I mean by anchor link. You click on the link and it takes you to another part of the same page. And you'll need a plugin if you want to make the scroll smooth. So let's get started. Log into your WordPress and go to the post you want to edit and then navigate to the text that you want to make into anchor link. Let's convert this text to a link by clicking here. And now in the URL section, you have to put a hash sign before the name. And don't use the, any special characters or spaces. If you want separate words, you can use hyphens. The name can be anything, but I like to make it relevant to the section. So for example, I'll put here hashtag anchor dash link dash info and I'll save this link. Now let me go to the website. If we click on the new link, nothing really happens. Except that here in the URL, you'll see that I have this hash anchor link info. This is because we established the link, but your browser doesn't know where the anchor tag is. Useless trivia. So let's add it. Now scroll down to the section you want to display. When someone clicks on the link we just created. And highlight the text. I usually link to the headers like this one here. I think this one is H2. Now you need to switch the mode from visual to text. Find the highlighted text. Now you see that your title is wrapped around some sort of container. In my case it's H2. This is just some HTML code for header 2. So let's make a bit of space here. So just after the H2 and add the following. ID equals double quote anchor dash link dash info double quote. In this case, when you add the ID, you don't need the hash because the ID basically means already the hash. So leave it out when you type in this part. Just remember, the ID has to be unique on page or you might break some other JavaScript. So now if I save and go see on the front end and I refresh the page, as you can see, when I click on this link, it takes me to the section way below. Amazing. And I know you're feeling like this guy. Now this scroll is very sudden, but it's really simple to set up. If you want it to be smooth, we need some JavaScript or use a plugin. I'll show you how to do this with a plugin in just a moment. Let me first show you how you can link to this section from another page. So open a new browser window and grab the URL from the article and at the end of the URL add the anchor tag. So in my case it's hashtag anchor link info and hit the enter and the page opens in the right section as you can see here. So you can add this URL to any link or any page or in the menu and this will work. So the hashtag just tells the browser which section you want to see. Just make sure you double check your hashtags so you don't end up like this. Now what if you want a smooth page scroll when you click on anchor link? So something like this. For this you need some JavaScript. So easiest way is to install a plugin called page scroll to ID. So go to your plugins and add new. In the search box type page scroll to ID and install the plugin. And once it's done, activate it. Now this plugin has a lot of different settings and you can play around with them if you want to. 
it, you can find it under the settings. You can see here on left page scroll to ID. There's a lot of different settings, but the default settings do a really decent job. So I'm going to leave everything as is. So let's go back to the post I prepared earlier. So let's just quickly remove what we added before because you want to have a clean slate to use the plugin. So just delete the link and then scroll down, change to text view and remove the ID and the anchor. And as you can see, there are two new icons here. The first one is to set up the link and the one with the bullseye is the anchor. And let's add a new link to this text. So we will include the hashtag anchor link info here. And another thing you need to include in this is this class name, which tells the WordPress to use the plugin. So add the PS2 ID to the custom classes like this. And if we take a look in the text view, you will see that it has added a new class PS2 ID like this. So all is good. Okay, now scroll down to the point where you want to have your anchor. I'll place my cursor just after the header and then I click on the bullseye icon and add the ID without the hashtag and click save. As you can see, WordPress adds the short code here. That's okay. It will not appear on the website. It's just a way for, for it to tell the website where to scroll to. And don't forget to save the changes. Let's take a look how it looks like on the site. So if I refresh and then I click on the link, it will scroll smoothly to the anchor. And as you can see, the short code is not appearing anywhere. So you can have multiple anchor tags on a one page, just set them up, give them unique IDs and you'll be good to go. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. And here are two videos related to WordPress that you might find useful. Whoosh.